Today we're joined by Sean Leverett. Now Sean's caught a lot of very big fish from some really tricky waters around the country. And today he's going to show us the rig that's done a serious amount of damage for him in recent years. He's caught some real big ones and it's a little bit of a different take on the multi-rig. So tell us how it came about, Sean. Well, it didn't come about by accident, but I was fishing over on Pingewood. Yeah. Um, I was fishing a swim and I'd had fish showing on me for the last couple of days. A good fish. I'd seen the brute. Yeah. I'd seen a couple of other fish. Um, but I'd had pop-up rigs, multi-rigs out there with pop-ups on for two days. N no joy at all. So the multi-rig as most people would fish it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fishing it as a pop-up mm -hmm. rig. No, I'd, I'd seen fish, but nothing was happening. Yeah. Um, now, I didn't want to... I, I wanted to reel in and get the rods in because I had a feeling that the fish were feeding harder on the bottom yeah. and they were ignoring my pop-up. Right. So, but I wanted to get the rods back out as quick as I could. Mm -hmm. So all I did is I literally I reeled the rods in cut the pop-up off yeah. of the ring, attached a small hair, mm -hmm. and then put the snowman rig on. Right. Cast them back out to the spots. The next morning I had the brute. Right. And then I had pex. So two of the biggest fish in the lake, well, the two biggest fish in yeah. the lake, yeah. one after the other. Yeah. So obviously yeah. So that small change told obviously me worked. that the ring mm. was, I'd, I'd stumbled across something really yeah. that was yeah. working yeah. and did work. Um, I've then, since then, I've taken it on to other waters. Just recently caught the half line out of Vinatrol on it. Yeah, um, 51 pounds. Just, yeah, just under 52 yeah. pound yeah. ounce, under 52. Brilliant. Had two other fish on the same session with it yeah. in two nights. Uh, we did a feature recently on the Pads Lake at Yately. Mm -hmm. Caught two 30s out of there on the rig. 80% of the fish that I caught on the roach pit yeah. were caught on this rig as well. So, so you, it's clearly something that yeah, they can't it's do. Obviously, with. a very good big fish. Yeah, it's rig. exactly yeah. the same rig as a multi rig, just, just really, as a bottom boat, yeah, really, yeah. just by attaching a hair rather than a pop up. Everything okay. else is the same on it. So, let's have a look at the rig in a bit more detail. As a bottom bait rig, um, are you sort of happy to fish it over anything, or is it just for clean spots? No, pretty much most things. I'll fish it over gravel, yeah. I'll fish it over silt and mm. light silt weed. Um, but when it comes to heavier weed, like thicker weed, I'd prefer to switch over to the pop-up version yeah, of it, yeah. uh, just because I'm concerned about its presentation. Okay. But generally, I would use this for all yeah, other. Yeah. So you've got a snow snowman type uh, hook bait presentation on there, two baits on the hair. Yeah. And what, what's that's quite a long, soft hair, is it? What sort of hair material is that? It's cotton. Right. Uh, I, I did used to use. Um, 15 pound hook link material yeah. without the coating yeah. but I just found that sometimes it was a little bit stiff right. so I had to play around and I switched over to cotton and I found it perfect okay. because it's that much more supple Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it does work it, it just sits that much better especially with the snowman yeah, with a yeah. bottom bait if I'm just using purely a bottom bait on it then I'd be happy to use the 15 pound right, right. Uh, braid but with the snowman, I know that it's that much more supple that it, yeah. it sits up better. It behaves nicely, yeah. yeah. Do you ever, ever have any problems with that tangling? Yeah. Uh, I tend to use uh, a small piece of rig foam. I mean, this is, I use quite long hairs normally. Yeah. This is quite short. But I would put, I'd normally put a bit of rig foam in between the hair and the hook to stop that, that because it's so yeah. supple. I don't want that spinning round and catching mm. the hook. So you actually put it on the hair? So I actually put a piece of rig foam on the hair. Right, OK. And then that will stop any tangling. Right, yeah, yeah. That works well then, doesn't it? Yeah. And I suppose that you know, gives it an extra degree of buoyancy, so it's going to you know, settle down quite nice down yeah, the bottom as well. Does, yeah, 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 yeah. So what you got? What hook's that? It looks like a stiff rigger. Yeah, size 5 stiff rigger. Yeah. 25-pound uh, striptease two-tone. Mm-hmm and a small bit of silicone. I use the silicone over the eye. Yeah. You don't have to use it, no. but by putting a small piece of silicone over the eye, it allows me to attach a small PVA bag if I wanted to. Yeah. So if I want to put a small bag of crumb out or a mm. small bag of pellet, I can attach this on and it won't pull that D yeah. shut. Yeah, on the cast. Whereas without yeah. the silicone, it will pull it closed. Mm. Yeah. And then the, obviously the mechanics of the rig aren't working yeah, that's effectively. Right. Yeah. So that's why the silicone's on there. Yeah. Um, it's a standard loop knot, mm -hmm. just to create the D. Yeah. I then strip a small piece of the two-tone yeah. strip tees, attach uh, a number five shot, right. and then mould a bit of the tungsten putty around it. Okay. And that will, I mean, 
you can the, the small bit of shot is probably suitable enough weight mm. but I like to overweight this yeah. so when the fish picks it up the weight of that shot is dropping the hook in yeah uh, I found the hook holds all my hook holds have been absolutely well, well, well. nailed what sort of about an inch back in yeah. the bottom lip yeah. or sort of, sort of, they're real they're, good positive they're real holds. central yeah and they're positive hook holds yeah, they're yeah. not coming out no and so, you're, you, you sort of you know a lot of that is accounted for by that extra weight on the hook link, just pulling the hook Definitely. down. Definitely. Yeah, I have yeah. actually tried this without the weight. Yeah. And I've dropped the fish. Really? Nice. Yeah. So, so that's quite the important. Is good. Yeah. That's yeah. quite an important part of the rig, yeah. having that extra weight. Whether it's on a pop-up or a bottom bait, mm. I use the same amount of weight. Whatever. Right. Okay. Um, and then also, along the length of the two-tone, I will put a couple of small blobs of putty yeah. just to pin the rig down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I attach it the other end. I normally form a loop with a figure of eight, overhand figure of eight knot. Yeah. Um, so you can use, you can tie it directly onto your swivel, mm. but I like that double piece of braid, again, in stiffness, helps to kick the Stacks hook Stacks like out. a little boom, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It saves having to use a tail piece, yeah, like yeah. one of the little boom rubbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then to that, I would attach... I, I, I like safety clips. Yeah. I like the safety clip because it ejects the lead mm. easily. Mm. These ejector lead clips are the one for it. There's, the, the, it's nice that the peg, the little, the little arm's soft enough yeah, that that's it. on Pulls the take, out. you lose the lead. Yeah, they, they come off most of the time on the take. A lot of people think they come off when you, when you get snagged up in weed or whatever, but no, these, yeah, the, these, the, the, the little arm just pings out yeah, it, on the yeah, take. It's, so, yeah, it's great for And it. the fish generally yeah. come straight to the surface, don't yeah. they? So yeah. Stay, I don't use waters. a ring swivel on this either. I right. tend not to use a ring swivel. I prefer just a standard swivel because I, I don't want too much of a movement yeah. in this rig. I like okay. it quite stiff. Yeah. And this being 25 pound, does keep it quite stiff. Yeah, it's quite a stiff hook thing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. and it's, it's, it works. It just Everything aids the mechanics of yeah. the rig by yeah. doing that. Brilliant. And your usual lead core leader? Yeah, yeah, a couple of foot of lead core. Yeah. Just splice the end. It's, it, again, it's the silt black. Yeah. Um, blends in again, yeah, over just about anything, Yeah, it, it does. It just blends in. It yeah. camouflages really well. Yeah. It's amazing how much darker it goes as well. Yeah, once, it, once, it's, it's, once it's in the water, water. It, the, the, the polyester soaks up the water and just it's, goes a lot yeah, darker. Yeah, it's it? almost yeah. invisible. Yeah. You know, I yeah. never used to be a fan of lead core, I'll be honest. I, right. I never used to use it. Um, but it's only when I started using this lead core mm. that I, I gained a lot of faith in it. Oh, right, Other okay. lead cores I've used in the past do stick out. Yeah. This, I found that it just doesn't take on the water like this does. Yeah, you yeah know, it, it does darkens down so much mm. easier than others. Mm. Yeah. I, I really do like it, and I'd be first to say that if I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mate, well, that's brilliant. Thanks for showing us that. That's okay. As you can see from his catch rate, it's a super effective big fish rig, and one to consider adding to your armory, especially when fish are getting wary of pop-up presentations.